Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're in my back garden. And the reason why we're here is because I've noticed that all the plants in the back garden are not thriving. And for years I've been trying to get some plants to grow, and this little fruit tree here is pretty typical, and the bush behind it. And they don't seem to be growing the way that they should be. And it pretty much is all in this back garden area. So what I did, I actually went out and I bought one of these meters. This is a microwave radiation meter. I live very close to cell phone towers. I'm going to show you what I found when I wandered around my garden. So let's take a walk around the plants and see what we can find. So we're actually reading millivolts per meter. And we're getting some very high levels out here. And I don't have Wi-Fi in my home, nor a cell phone. And the levels out here are much higher than what's inside the house. But what I found is that there's some levels out here that are around 500. And I was quite surprised to find those levels so high. And this particular plant down here is not growing very well. It seems to have deformed leaf growth on it. I've never been able to get this one to grow. It's actually put in about the same time as this one. As you can see, the growth is very, very different. But this one is in one of the highest patches of microwaves that you can find in the garden. And I've seen it up at 400 in this area. You can see it's gone very high there. So I have concerns about cell phone towers because uh, there's a lot of literature on the subject saying that it causes microwave sickness. And I do believe that some of my plants do indeed have microwave sickness. And they're showing it through retarded growth patterns and distortions in their growth. And if we were in a forest, this would be reading zero. So this is all man-made wireless radiation that we're picking up on. It's very high here. So as you can see, the, the field patterns are very patchy and non-uniform. And you only have to move a few feet to see the field strength change. It's very high here. And this plant here, I've been having problems trying to grow. It's very stunted compared to the ones I have in the front. It's about half the size. So they're very, very high around here. And this one is quite stunted, it's been growing for a few years, and it's growing in a very deformed pattern compared to other ones that I have in the garden. So 
so you can see it's very, very low in some of these areas now at the side of the house. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my garden and seeing the readings and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.